Hey guys, it's Tyler, and um, I, I wasn't planning on making this video, but I just wanted to go ahead and do it. It's kind of a tribute video, 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 and um, this is, um, of course, for Monty Only, who is the animator at one of the lead animators at Rooster Teeth. Which is one of my favorite YouTube channels. It always cheers cheers me up when I'm having a bad day, um, and he's a member of it, and he was their lead animator, and he's responsible for some of the amazing stuff that <coughs> we've seen in the recent seasons of Red vs. Blue, and then he worked on Ruby, which is their new animated series. <coughs> oh God, and he passed away last week at the age of 33 and it was really shocking to them and uh, it, it was really shocking to everybody really because it was so unexpected and I just wanted to make this video to talk about my some of my favorite Monty moments. Um, at first I wasn't really sure who, who he was and then I looked it up and I was like oh wow it's that guy. I actually I didn't know him personally but it still made such an impact big impact and I think that that's a weird, a weird thing that I've been looking on the internet and it's made a big, big impact to a lot of people who didn't know him personally it's because they were such a huge fan of his work because he was extremely talented and like I remember seeing I think it was in season 8 of Red vs. Blue when they first started doing the motion capture and the animation when the warthog went through the wall I was like, oh wow, they really stepped up their game for Red vs. Blue now. And that was all because of Monty. And that was just, an, um, it was amazing work that he did. He was so, he was really talented. And so I'm glad he got to share his talent with the world, as short lived as it was, unfortunately. And um, the people at Rooster Teeth, they, they were obviously heartbroken and they didn't do any videos for, they didn't do any videos yesterday um, except they did a special live podcast and normally when they do their live podcast it's only available to sponsors Rooster Teeth but however they made this one available to everybody and it was just them talking about their favorite memories with Monty and talking about all the fun times they had with him and at the end they had a tribute video and I, I'll admit it, I teared up a little bit, um, but yeah, so, uh, I, like I said, I don't really know what to say because I didn't know him personally and, but I just felt like I, need, I wanted to do this video and just pay tribute to how his awesome talent and how good of a print he obviously was to these people. And, um, yeah, uh, um, I'll have the tribute video from the podcast after this video is done. Um, I'll have it at the end of this video. Um, it's the same one that was on the Rest of Teeth podcast that the guys over there made. And, um, they also, he, he, he has a wife. Um, I don't remember if he had kids or not, but... They set up a GoFundMe account and just within four days it has almost $230,000, which is an, another thing so awesome about the internet and um, our little Rooster Teeth community that I'm happy to be a part of. Um, I'm really, actually, I guess the word's blessed, blessed to be, I'm not really religious, but um, I don't know why I associate that word with religion, but. Anyways, I'm blessed to be a part of the Rooster Teeth community because it's, this is going to sound really cheesy, but it really feels like a little family and it makes us feel close to the guys at Rooster Teeth and so we grew attached to them and so, yeah, we're, anyways, yeah, um, I will leave a link in the description below to, that will take you to the GoFundMe account if you feel like you want to donate to them. And that would be awesome to help their family, to help Monty's family through the times. And, um, I feel like I'm forgetting something.
Right. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, another thing. I was looking through um, when Meg did the announcement on the no. There, there are some people commenting. I mean, I know there's always going to be haters, but there's just some stuff you should never say. So when commenting, please be respectful. Um, realize somebody just lost an uh, amazing friend in the world, just lost an amazing talent. So just please remember to be respectful to the family that just lost a loved one and to the friends who just lost one of their good friends. Um, it really kills me when I see when I see people do that. It just aggravates the far out of me. And um, if by any off chance any guys at Rooster Teeth are watching this video, um, just know that um, you have a whole community of people who love you and are here to support you. Um, like I said, I watch y'all all the time and y'all are amazing. Y'all always cheer me up. And so I just want to thank you for that. And um, thank you, Monty, for showing us your talent, to the, revealing your talent to the world. And you were amazing at it. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. Um, rest in peace, Monty. Uh, we all love you. And rest easy. And so, like I said, the GoFundMe account is going to be in the description below. Um, I'll put in the, I'll put in a thing for, um, the Rooster Teeth podcast where they talk about it if you want to catch that. It's at roosterteeth.com, but I'll go ahead and put the link down below for that podcast. And that is it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is normally where I tell you to comment something below. Um, not if I want to do that, but if you want to, you can comment. Um, if you're part of the Rooster Teeth community, um, tell us what your favorite Monty moment or project was. Um, like I said, mine was probably in Rivers of Blue when the Warthog crashed through the wall because that was really awesome, or um, when he smacked Gavin in the back of the head during that little Fruit Ninja video they did because that just made me laugh. <laughs> Sorry. Love you, Gavin. Anyways, um, without further ado, thanks for watching, guys, and um, I will see you on the next video. If y'all want to see the tribute video to Monty that Rooster Teeth did, it is coming right now, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye. Hello, Mr. Monty Ohm. Hello, Birdie. I was very excited about the moment my first scene showed up at a convention. No one had any idea what to expect. Got a full house for the Ruby panel in our camp. With Red vs. Blue and Rooster Teeth as a company, there's a lot of things we hope to create to make people happy in ways they couldn't, wouldn't expect. Red. White. Black. And yellow for the bacon. <laughs> it's, it's easy to forget to sleep when you're working on something cool. So you just work as hard as you can, and still it's, there's never enough time. So the thing you gotta learn to is essentially let go. What we end up making is always larger than what we think it'll be. I do believe thoroughly in giving everything you got towards whatever you're doing at the time. My favorite thing this time around was sharing it with everyone else, my colleagues, my friends, who all worked on this project. <laughs> We ended up here for some reasons that we don't need to think about. No. But we tend to be masters of our own fate. The only thing that stops us from doing the really cool things is time. And we're in a huge fan culture at the moment where everything is something is spawned off of something. If you if you look at something and you intend to use it, you have to emulate it, which means you have to understand it. I've landed in a very unique place where if I want to make a costume of something, I can also make the character that it's derived from. Hey,
today, we're still looking at people and they need to behave like people. As an animator, there are things you need to notice that most people wouldn't be seeing. The most important thing, do this as often as you can, watch movies or watch shows or watch things. Just keep your eyes open. It's a lot of destiny, really. I mean, very few people have the luxury of doing exactly what they want to do as their job. There's never a day where I forget that. Moving forward is, I always think about what's next. So like, I, I'm, I'm super excited to finish what we have so that I can just start working on something else.